Hey everybody, hope y'all are doing right. <clears throat> so, uh, you know, I made a video yesterday talking about happy wife, happy life. And <clears throat> I want to explain what I mean by when I say happy, because <clears throat> I can see people, could, I don't know what the exact definition is, but I'm just going to give you what my intent behind using the word happy is, what I meant when, what I'm conveying when I said that is essentially, because happiness, like it can be can misconvey or it could be you know, people could think of being happy, like, oh, just giving people what they want. Like, essentially, you know, people wanting to buy shit, people wanting to get fucked up, people wanting things that aren't really good for them. But they, we have, humans have an issue with wanting that which actually isn't good for us. Uh, that's why there's so many sick people here, especially in America. <clears throat> but, I mean, this is something that's been going on all over the world for probably ever since humanity's been fucking around. Uh, just sin, whatever you want to call it. So, lower vibrational activities. And, um... So, like, I don't want to get miss, you know, things mixed up in thinking that just because, like, women, I, I've, even though I've been with that many women, I've spent a lot of time observing, and I have been with some women, and I've also heard a lot of people, I've been around other people in relationships, so, so I've witnessed a lot of things that go on in between peeps, and I've lived with my family here, my parents, for a very long time, so I've seen how her and my dad have interacted, now how things have gone down, <clears throat> and, um... Like my, I love my dad, but he does, I think he actually does like, this is where it got mixed up because like, he's actually he's like pretty much the quote unquote definition of like a, a woman pleaser. Like he like wants to do everything to please her, but like to a point to where like he spoils her and like that's where it's bad. Like you can do the same thing with your children. Like you can give them things that aren't actually good for them. You can just like cater, like just like, cause women wants you to decide things. They want you to take as a man, be a fucking man and do what the fuck you want to do and make choices from your state as a man. It's a relationship with two people. So two people should be actively involved. It shouldn't be just one leading the way and the other trying to catch up and do whatever they can to help the other one continue leading the way no i don't think it should be like that it should be a mutual thing that you guys both you know put efforts into now maybe sometimes one may be a little bit stronger than the other in certain areas so maybe they lead a little bit more in those areas you know that's fine but it shouldn't be like a dominated thing where one person's fucking doing one thing one way and the other person's just supporting them doing it that way um and you shouldn't like be doing it 24 7 because that's i mean it's not good for you know, even though you can be in love with each other and want to, like, have a feeling of wanting to spend every single second, you know, with them and be obsessed with them all the time, which I've had thoughts like that at times, uh, that doesn't last forever. Like, those, that, that, that time, like, I'm not at that state right now. Like, you know, some days and sometimes I am, but, you know, it changes throughout the day. Like, I'll start thinking about something else, you know, or just the, the frequency, like, the intensity will die down a little bit, you know, and... It's good, like, you don't want the same thing all the time. Like, it's good to have, like, space in between things. Like, too much sex can be too much sex. Too much water will kill you. Um, so, it's good to have balance in things. And it's also good not to, like, to truly be happy, you're not going to want to be enabling bad behavior. So, if she's constantly wanting you to do something for her that you know isn't actually good for her long term, or maybe it's not good for your overall future, whether it's economical or spiritual or some other type of thing that's going to affect your relationship in a particular way then it's good for you as a man to stand up for that and not support her when you are because it's not supporting her well-being you want to be there for her well-being and which was which is what's really going to give her um happiness and also help her perpetuate that happiness uh so it's just like spoiling a kid with candy yeah sure they want the candy and it tastes good while they're eating it but it's actually horrible for their fucking health so i just want to get it mixed up when i say happy wife happy wife i don't mean spoiler and give her fucking everything and say yes to everything that she says and like not have any type of a you know f essence or you know just i want it's still very important that you you hold yourself as your own man and hold your own space and fucking you know speak your own voice and not just conform to her wishes just to please her is essentially what i'm saying because i've also seen my dad do it and although like he is very supportive it's good to be that way i know for, even my mom has told me she wishes he would be more like just like involved in it, like his own passions and speaking his own voice and be more initiative with his own self and like just be more of a leader in his own life instead of relying on my mom to do a lot of shit, you know, and, and in doing that, my dad, like literally, you know, he, he can't like he's not very phone savvy, like he can't do a lot of things that my mom has been doing for years. And a lot of that's because. You know, she's been the leader in a lot of things and they haven't delegated things the right way, in my opinion, you know, so that's on them. But <clears throat> anyways, it's just, you know, all right, I think I said enough. I love you guys. I'll take care. Bye.